Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at steps to open and extract files from zip, rar, tarballs and 7-zip archival containers natively through File Explorer without the need of third-party applications. Although the operating system has included the ability to unzip files for a long time, you had to use third-party tools such as 7-zip and even the Windows Subsystem for Linux for other archival formats such as RAR and 7-zip. However, starting with the October 2023 update and version 23H2, Windows 11 is integrating the Live Archive open source project right into the system to bring support for many archival formats, including but not limited to all this list right here. Now, if you ever use File Explorer to open zip files, it is the same process. You can either select the archival format and then just click the start button. And from here, you just need to select the destination where you want to extract the files. And you can check this option if you want to. And then just click the extract button to complete the task. And that's it. Now we have extracted, on this case, a tar.gz file. Now, if you only want to extract one file or a folder, you can simply open the folder and then select the item and just click the copy button, go to the folder of the location that you want to extract the file and just paste that on the location. And that is all there is to it. That's how you can open and extract files from different archival formats without the need of third party tools. However, there is only one caveat. When using this integration, it is only possible to open and extract files that do not have password. Now, if the archival format has been encrypted, and you even have the password, there is not an interface that you can authenticate to access those files. So if that's the case, you will need to resource to a third party tool. Also, this integration only allows you to view and extract files. If you want to create an archival format other than a zip folder, that integration is not yet available at the time of this recording. Microsoft is planning to add that or so the company said, but that will take some time to be integrated into Windows 11. And that is all there is to it. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.